Beth, just last night, a fire broke out at the Chester Creek Greenbelt, which resulted in damages, including multiple tents being burned down. Anchorage Fire Department Assistant Chief Alex Boyd says this was just one of many homeless camp fires the AFD has responded to recently. This is uh, what I'd refer to as a wicked problem. There aren't easy answers. It took a long time to get here. Uh, it's going to take a while for us to find a solution. Assistant Chief Alex Boyd of the Anchorage Fire Department says AFD has seen hundreds of fires this year. 360 of them can be classified as homeless encampments or associated with them, he says, with 30 of those being classified as wildland fires. One of the biggest concerns that we see within these encampments, the fact that the structures, the spaces, uh, whether it be trailers or small tents, they're not intended for long-term living. They, they, they were not built for that. They are not intended to do that. Uh, and then the encampments themselves become very compact around heating sources. And with that comes a lot of risk and a lot of danger associated with fire. On Sunday night, a fire quickly spread at the Chester Creek Greenbelt. AFD says flames reached 30 to 40 feet up into the sky, and it took about 10 minutes for them to extinguish the fire. A man experiencing homelessness who lives in the area describing what he saw. This was on fire and smoke blowing, you know, up as far as you can see. And then this one was on fire, but it was all black smoke going, going up like 30 foot. Dark, dark black smoke. And expressing concern after the most recent fire, so close to where he calls home. We all have fires going all the time. Now I'm afraid to. Swedge says he has a friend who tried to put the fire out, but it spread too fast for them to handle on their own. There have been more visible fires this year, with AFD pointing to more visible and larger homeless encampments than in previous years. And Boyd says the resources and crews at AFD are straining to keep up. The change in, in challenges that we face, uh, the staffing requirements, the increased load on other uh, agencies, it seems like these camps are growing larger and we're having uh, larger encampments with more material in them, more challenges that we're facing. So we've had some pretty large encampment fires. Enforcement when it comes to homeless campfires are becoming more challenging as responses often come with complications and are done many times in coordination with the Anchorage Police Department and Parks and Rec. We are not abating camps. We are simply doing our best to control the fires and fire risk associated with those camps. So a lot of those resources really rest in the hands of our other agencies. AFD wants those living in homeless camps to use fire protected equipment and remember to never use heating devices or equipment outside of the manufacturer's recommendations. In most cases, there should be 15 feet away from an open flame and at least 48 inches from any power heated sources. As for homeowners and renters, remember to check your smoke alarms and carbon monoxide alarms and always have fire extinguishers on standby. Lex Elverton reporting tonight.